Hello students, so in this uh, video session let us be discuss regarding the next class that is uh, the class Amphibia. So, the class Amphibia, class Reptilia and class Aves and class Mammalia are the four classes left in this animal kingdom and these are all together there is a super class that is what we call the tetrapoda right. So, there is a above this one super class super class tetrapoda tetrapoda. So, below this the class that is amphibia there are super class tetrapoda so and super class Pisces. So, we have discussed the Pisces into two classes that is uh, uh, chondric this and ostrich this right. So, there are two classes we discussed at a time. So, now the next uh, the super class. So, this uh, amphibia the class comes under super class tetrapoda. So, this tetrapoda means here the presence of four legs, presence of four limbs right. So, this is what the unique feature of this one and uh, there may be a somehow exceptional uh, uh, limbless animals may also present. So, let us we uh, discuss that also right. So, general features of this uh, uh, class amphibia. So, that is the class this is the first class of the tetrapoda super class tetrapoda and uh, above this there is a what you call uh, division gnata stomata gnato stomata right division gnato stomata super class tetrapoda class amphibia. So, in this uh, hierarchical system you should mention. So, when they asked uh, uh, general features of amphibia. So, one of the important feature the first animals we can say the first animals which are comes uh, uh, outside the water that is what the group in uh, this uh, tetrapoda is uh, amphibia right. So, amphibia amphibia examples uh, mainly frog we can say frogs right. So, there are two uh, different types are there. So, here buffo we call buffo these are toads we call it as toad little bit you might have observed a large uh, large sized frog. So, usually we in common in general we call it as frog only, but when you observe the large sized so that is buffo or toads we can say and little medium size that is what a frog or uh, rana right. In general frogs we can say, but uh, rana are referred as frog here. Sometimes uh, the frog which are present on the tree, so they are referred as a hyla right hyla sometimes they may be green in color right. So, that is tree frog we call it as a tree frog and even the example ichthyophis is there ichthyophis. So, even salamander is there salamander salamander salamandra or in common uh, salamander ok. Even we also refer it as a salamander salamander or salamandra both are right. So, this is a common name salamander. So, that is also called salamandra right. So, ichthyophis these are the examples of uh, this uh, what you call this class right. So, let us uh, see the general features of this class. So, these are uh, animals uh, uh, the name name amphibia right. So, animals are referred as amphibians the members belongs to this class amphibia the members belongs to amphibia are called amphibians what you call amphibians right. amphibians right. These amphibians are the both aquatic as well as terrestrial when you observe the habitat of this one they can survive in aquatic medium either both usually fresh water and even marine forms, but here terrestrial also there right. They are terrestrial or aquatic right they may be both side they can live ok. The habitat so that is what the MP means MP means right to or dwell what do you call dwell. Uh, bios means amphibians, bios means life, dual life they can perform the dual life means they can also live in water as well as yes, land terrestrial as well as aquatic we can say right. So, they have they have the second feature they have two pairs of limbs, two pairs of limbs, four limbs and hind limbs right two pairs of limbs which we observed. So, in most of the examples in toad, frog, tree frog or even in case of uh, other examples, but here except this ichthyophis, ichthyophis is limbless one ok. Even salamander is also uh, 
there are two pair of s pair of limbs right so here total four limbs hence tetrapoda so by this uh, feature we can identify it as a tetrapoda right there are four limbs are there so four limbs four means f o r e four right so front limbs right and uh, hind limbs that means uh, uh, to the trunk they are attached so usually so the limbs are helps in the locomotion okay and even their digits so when you observe the digits in a front four limbs there are four digits are there and in a hind in a, so there is a special features for what we observe the limbs limbs have digits you remember limbs have digits and in between two digits for example this is what the leg when you consider so this is the limbs right so this is what the limbs so in between here two digits there is a web right so there is a web of a skin right webbed digits we can say webbed digit this is also referred as webbed digit which helps in swimming right so to push the water so in between two digits there is a web like this so here not developed so but in case of frogs when you observe so even in other animals may also observe that is in birds aquatic birds which we identify like a duck right so webbed uh, digits may be found in this right so that is what uh, the the limbs so hence the name is tetrapoda right so next uh, the ichthyopis but yeah, ichthyopis one of the example it is a snake like and uh, appears like snake but it is not a uh, belongs to reptilia it is one of the amphibia limbless amphibia note this uh, one of the example which is uh, called limbless right limbless amphibia limbless amphibia example is ichthyopis remaining all are said to be limbs okay they have uh, two pair of limbs right next character is the body is divisible body is divisible into head and trunk in most of the examples head and trunk so uh, neck region is also not, not quite clearly developed here so head and trunk so head has sensory organs and trunk with uh, remaining all organ systems are there uh, internally right so there is maybe a tail in some cases that is like uh, even in ichthyopis tail is there and even uh, in salamandra tail is there but in case of frog and toad even in tree frog there is no tail but in larval stage it was there larval stage there was a tail so uh, let us we discuss that it later right so we may discuss that here right fertilization is external and indirect development because larval stage is there we will discuss it later right so you remember the body is divisible body is divisible into head and trunk mainly right so but in some cases like in salamander and ichthyopis there is a presence of tail even after the uh, adult stage right so next the skin regarding the skin so here the skin is devoid of uh, scales you can say scales are absent scales are absent that is what uh, even moist skin moist skin skin may have some glands so that is what uh, that keeps the skin moist right so uh, skin is moist and without scales devoid of scales or uh, scales are absent the there is a absence of scales right so skin is moist and uh, with uh, different uh, uh, colored okay so next uh, the eyes have eyelids one of the important this thing here eyes have eyelids eyelids are developed here okay so uh, we may observe that eyelids eyelids which covers and protection is the function eyes are eyes are covered with eyelids right so next point the tympanum right tympanum mem tympanum is there so just behind the this is what the when you consider this is the frog right so just i am showing here so here uh, there will be a i and he, in this region in this region there is a presence of a, a patch like structure in this region just i am showing the reason here so this is what uh, the tympanum the presence of a, a, a very thin layer so which is uh, like a circular patch like structure and it's light uh, color when body color is very dark it will be appeared okay it is appeared like a light colored so that is what the tympanum right so this is the tympanum this is what i right 
so here if i is there i just behind the eye so there is a presence of uh, tympanum so this represents the presence of ear they can hear the sound presence of ear that is what sensory organs are uh, almost near to this uh, what you call a pair of eyes and the pair of tympanum membranes will be present tympanum is is the presence of tympanum represents the s yes, the ear ear to hear right so next one the one more structure that is called cloaca as in previous also i have explained this cloaca cloaca is common aperture or opening which is external uh, opening so at the end of elementary canal there is a opening called usually ns but here so the same opening which receives the another two track so that is the urinary track and reproductive tracts urinary and both reproductive tracts also joins the end of elementary canal so this is the common opening for exit of the uh, urine and undigested food so as well as release of eggs right release of eggs so or which may receives the sperm also but uh, so external fertilization is there so there's a release of egg we can consider right so this is what the one of the special term cloaca cloaca right cloaca is a common uh, exterior opening exterior external opening so of uh, uh, elementary canal ac means here elementary canal and urinary tract and reproductive tract right so all three uh, 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 systems what you called uh, digestive system digestive system it starts with mouth so even uh, salivary glands and other some glands associated with the digestive system digestion is complete here right digestion is complete along with the digestive uh, tract so there is a uh, well developed we can say compared to other previous what we discussed right and urinary urinary tract so a pair of kidneys right so and uh, the reproductive tract so reproduction we will discuss it later reproduction sexes are separate right so next uh, we'll go for the uh, respiration respiration see uh, respiration is done by gills gills are usually present in the larval stage right so in the larval frog larvae or in the larva of that animals may have gills by that gills uh, they can respire so they are ex larva are exclusively aquatic remember larva are exclusively aquatic here so but adults may come out from the water right so again they may go for their reproduction water only right so that's what the they may use when they come to the land what terrestrial mode of life so they may use the lungs and when they enter the uh, water again they may use the moist skin so we call it as a moist skin so due to presence of this moist skin moist skin they can also respire in the water right even with the help of buccal cavity also it helps buccal cavity means the cavity present in below the lower jaw right so you might have observed that so the bulb bulb like it will be it will be uh, what you called uh, so bulged sometimes right so you quite have observed that uh, thing in the behavior of that frog right so while uh, what it, it produces the kind of sound no so during that time it may observe right so that is what we call buccal cavity right that is mouth cavity so the bulb like structure which is uh, arises in the lower this uh, jaw right next uh, heart is three chambered here heart is three chambered so heart is here three chambered and uh, there are two auricles and one ventricle is there and next uh, these are said to be cold blooded which are also referred as uh, pyclothermous animals pyclothermic animals because body uh, temperature is not constant body temperature is temperature is not constant they can change their body temperature accordingly to the wild range right so see the cold blooded means you remember the body temperature is not constant so they they even can survive in uh, both uh, uh, s so cold water or little become hot water or even on terrestrial so that's what uh, they can adjust to the uh, surrounding environment right so next uh, the uh, sexes are separate so the sexes are next character that is sexes are separate means uh, they are uh, yes uh, unisexual right so single sex they shows and uh, fertilization is external external means here in water that the fertilization is 
occurs in water means uh, the female lays their egg in water usually in a uh, stagnant water stagnant water in the corner of water bodies so and uh, even the male uh, male will also release the sperm on that place and uh, uh, sometimes uh, here we may also observe that uh, parental care okay parental care means uh, some uh, like uh, uh, this uh, toads and uh, uh, rana right they can carry their eggs uh, uh, wherever they go right so until they hatch right in this way they can take care of the uh, that uh, eggs right that is what uh, we can say parental care right fertilization is external so that is external means fertilization is takes place in the water media right so next uh, development is indirect because larval stage is there larva are present there is presence of uh, larval stage so from larval to larval stage to adult stage there is a lot of changes which we observed for example larva for frog is appears like this right and uh, it has a tail no limbs no limbs so this is the frog and next uh, the tail is remains uh, uh, changed right uh, this is disintegrated and there is a formation of uh, uh, four legs what we call there are four limbs are formed so many changes are takes place from larval stage to adult stage this is also called metamorphosis right so we also refer as these animals shows that metamorphosis metamorphosis which we observed in these animals especially frog right so due to that is what we call indirect development due to presence of larval stage there is no direct development right so you remember all these points are important and uh, there is a development of nervous nervous system and uh, there is a cranial uh, nerves also developed right cranial nerves are also developed here and uh, spinal cord as we know there are common characters for all chordates right so this is regarding the yes the general features so as per your uh, ncert syllabus so you can go through this one because at least you should mention the five general features with examples for the uh, five marks question okay uh, write the general characters of uh, amphibia right uh, note the points these are so important you can put one two three like this so you, at least you remember all these features okay so it's important for your syllabus right thank you students